Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th Microsoft Access tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can import text files into your database. Uh, so it's going to be very similar to how we've done with Excel and Access. Uh, so here I've got a text file, uh, it's just comma separated. Um, so each record on a different line and each field separated by a comma. Uh, so let's close that off. I've got it saved in my database. So in my database, I'm going to go to external data and then text file. Um, and again, I'm going to append it to my items, same as how I did with Excel. Uh, and I'm also going to find the file by going to my examples, 10, and then import uh, and press open and then press OK. Uh, and so table, uh, so let's close the table. Uh, it's then going to ask you for the delimited or fixed width. So mine isn't fixed width, mine's delimited by the comma, so it's just what's separating them. Uh, if you have uh, it delimited by anything else, so like semicolons or something, then you're still going to choose delimited. And then on this next page, it's going to ask us what it's delimited by. Um, and if it's none of the default ones, space, semicolon, tab, comma, then you can put in other uh, and you just fill in what it is in there. Um, or you can even just put in the comma rather than ticking comma over here. But I've got comma uh, and then we want to tick this option because in my one, my first row contains the field name. So let's tick that. Uh, and you can have your text qualifier as either double dash or just single dash or I've just got none at the moment because there's none in my CSV file. So let's press next, import the table, and I don't want the wizard to analyze it. So let's press finish, save import steps, uh, and again, you can create your outlet task if you want it to set up to do, uh, or remind you to do it automatically. So save import, and I've already got that import name, so import CSV and save import. Uh, so now we're going to items, you'll see that it's imported our data. Uh, and if we go into our saved imports, you'll see that I can run my saved import here. Uh, and it will add it. Um, and so that's it for text files. Um, and uh, if you are like the tutorials, we will do more uh, each Wednesday. Um, that's going to be it for working with your different tables now uh, and we're going to look at creating queries instead. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.